Okay, so continuing this, this 3.5b part, we've already done b2, so let's go to b3. Okay, b3. This is on textbook, page 65. <coughs> Let me read the question. Solve the following. Solve means find x and y, as I've been saying. Okay. Following pair of linear equations by substitution and also cross multiplication method. So directly they have said solve by substitution and cross multiplication method. So we can just start solving by those two methods without checking for these conditions because the question is directly saying solve means it will be unique solution. So we don't need to check. So here the first equation given is 8x plus 5y is equal to 9. Let us keep this one as 1. Okay, let us do by substitution method first. Okay, substitution method. If you like to write, then you can write there. Substitution method. So in substitution method, <coughs> arranging the x term, y term, c1 and all. It's not necessary, okay. And then the second one. 3x plus 2y is equal to 4. This is equation number 2. As I said, what we're going to do right now is not a hard and fast rule for a substitution method. But this trick helps us to solve easily. So let us do that. Let us take the coefficients of x in these two equations 1 and 2. So in the uh, Coefficients of x means in front of x. So a1 here, 8, and the next one here, the coefficients of x in these two equations are in front of x here, 8 plus 8 and plus 3. So this method helps us to solve easier. So always keep the bigger coefficient up of x and the lower one down. And then we try to cancel them if we can. Okay. But 3 can't cancel 8, so we have to keep it like that then y coefficients of i mean three and eight can't cancel with any number right two also doesn't go three itself doesn't go and y it means in front of y five and two so bigger one absolute value is we'll put up five and two down just like we put the bigger eight up and three down this also we can't cancel so out of this here eight x three x five y and two y are there the smallest of this number is this one 2y so let us if we take the smallest coefficient to do the substitution it is always easier okay because that way the smallest number will appear in the denominator and that makes it easier for us to solve slightly so here 2y is contained in which equation one or two one is 5y so there's another one this is the one so we have to take from equation number two rather we are choosing to take from equation number two. It's not that we have to, it's not a rule, but it's going to be easier, so we are taking from two. That means here we're going to have to, I'm going to do direct okay for by now because we have done substitution method sufficiently, a sufficient number of times. So here, substitution means since you have chosen the 2y, which is y, containing y, we're going to express y in terms of everything else. So y alone on one side, then 4 here, equal to 4. Let us shift this, then no sign is plus 3x go right side, minus 3x. Then still 2 is here, 2y. Imagine then 2 into y means 2 will become, come down to denominator. So y is equal to 4, this shifted, minus 3x. By this 2 into will become divided by 2. That is called substitution, taking either x or y in any equation, but we are choosing the smallest one because it makes it easier to solve. Okay, so taking x or y in terms of the rest from either one of the equation, from two in this case. Then after that, putting equation three value that we got just now, which means the value of y equal to 4y, this one. In since we got three from two, we shouldn't put in the same two again, but in the other one, one. So putting equation three value in one, we get what? Let us see. One is this. So just write eight 
x, that's fine. Plus 5y, so 5 in place of y now. 3 value in 1 means this 3. This y here, y, is going to be replaced by this one. 4 minus 3x divided by 2 replaces the y. Close the bracket. Bracket because bracket indicates multiplication. So 5 in the y equal to 9. Okay, <clears throat> let us go about it slowly. I'm thinking a lot then you make lesser mistakes okay now here let us, <clears throat> this is part of the whole term in a sense so these two down here will not multiply this they cannot cancel if you can cancel it's easier if you cancel first but, but we can't cancel so this is part of the long line is here see and bracket so two is a part of this whole term in a sense so two will not multiply five two will multiply the other term here, 2 8s are 16x, then plus, so 2 will not multiply any of this to the new term. Then to remove this bracket, we we'll multiply 5 to both of these on the numerator because 5 is on the numerator. So plus into plus, plus 5 4s are 20. So when we multiply like that, the outside signs and the numbers with the inside, the brackets will get removed. Okay, so plus into minus is minus then 5 3 is 15 and here x so since you've multiplied 5 plus 5 to both these this bracket disappears then we put a long line starting from here see it's already up to here then up to here we extend because we have multiplied this means the longer line has to extend up to here divided by 2 is the LCM I hope you're getting it right so 9 so that implies now x terms can subtract or add so plus 16x and minus 15x is 16 minus 15 plus 1x then here plus 20 divided by 2 down here is equal to 9 so 15, 16x minus 15x plus 1x plus 20 by 2 equal to 9 as same as the rest the rest the remaining is same I mean so here x plus 20 will be equal to then this 2 which is in the denominator if we shift from left side of equal sign to the right side it will go up and multiply the numerator 9 because 9 means 9 by 1 which we need not show so down goes up when you shift from left to right a number which is denominator will go up to numerator and multiply so 2 9s are plus 18 so this is gone we need not show this if we don't want so next solve means we have to find the value of x and y so take the term containing x alone and then shift the rest to the other side here plus 18 same then plus 20 shifted to right side become minus 20 so x will therefore be equal to 18 plus 18 minus 20 is minus 2 bigger because bigger absolute value is 20 whose sign is minus so our answer also has to have the same sign as the bigger one so bigger absolute value up smaller absolute value 18 which is plus down oh, now minus plus is subtraction so 10 minus 8 2 1 is taken from 2 to make 10 here so only one left 1 minus 1 0 so no need to write and bigger number is 20 whose sign is minus so 2 here also should have minus sign that's why we're getting here minus 2 you can write these things on your graph if you want so we have to find y so for that it's quite easy now putting x that we got just now equal to minus 2 in equation 3 we get we are putting in equation 3 because 3 is perfectly arranged to find y only y here and the rest is straight so directly we can find it out y is equal to 4 minus 3 into x here will be replaced by this minus 2 because x is now minus 2 divided by this number 2 then 4 and here bracket between the 2 minus 2 and 3 means 3 it's not 3 minus 2 it is 3 into 2 so if it is like this then it's 3 minus 2 but if it is like this the bracket comes in between the first and the second number along with the sign then this is multiply this is subtract or add right so here we have to do minus into minus plus and three twos are minus into minus plus first multiply the sign always is a better 
way of doing it. Three twos are six divided by two. So four plus six is plus ten divided by two. Two ones are two, two fives are ten. So why we go as five? I think it's meshing there. Book answer. Yes. I can write here by substitution method. We go here the required solution means the answer for x and y. X equal to minus 2 and y is equal to plus 5. So that's by substitution method. Now they're saying do by cross multiplication also. So whatever method we use, if it's the same question, you must get the same answer even by cross multiplication also. By any algebraic method, the answer should be same for the same question, from for the same pair of linear equations. Okay, so as I am saying, just to remind us, the three algebraic method for pair of linear equations that we know how to we know to solve are substitution method, elimination method, and in this chapter we have learned cross multiplication. These three are called the algebraic method. Another method is there which we do by graph. That's called graphical method. I think in 3.2 we're going to do that later, okay? That's the graph, graphical method, so we use graph paper to solve. But the other three are solving by simplification called algebraic method. Next, after you finish that, under the same question, elimination method. Oh, sorry, not elimination, they are saying cross multiplication. So, cross multiplication method we are doing now. The same question. So let us do that. We write the same question here. We are given 8x plus 5y equal to 9 as equation number 1. And 3x plus 2y equal to 4 in equation number 2. As I said just a moment ago, for substitution method, Making sure that x term in first is in first place, y term in second place, and both c1 and c2 on same side, either right side or left side, it's not important. We need not bother about it. But for cross multiplication method, it is absolutely important that we arrange them in the similar pattern, meaning x term in first place for both, y term in second place for both. This year, the number without this x and y factors are called c1 and c2, okay, which is 9 and 4. c1 is plus 9 c2 is plus 4 both are on right side that's okay or both c1 and c2 should be on left side c1 on right side minus 9 on or c1 on left side let us say minus 9 c1 on left side and c2 plus 4 on right side that is not allowed one on the left c1 on left c2 on right or c1 on right and c2 on left on different side is not allowed okay it will cause problem in your solving so keep in mind that C1, uh, X term in first place for both, Y term in second place for both, and C1 and C2 for both the equations on the left side, or C1 and C2 both on the right side. Anyone is correct. So here, <coughs> we are going to say by cross, we, have, we don't have to check A1 by A2 because the question did not ask us the one, okay, cross multiplication method by cross multiplication method okay so as we have done earlier also by now we know x is by bc okay x by bc minus bc b is the y term this is a x term coefficient is a y don't write okay y term coefficient is b and then number constant or any expression without the x and y factor are equal c1 and c2 so x by bc minus bc so b is the coefficient of y so b up plus 5 c down that's called cross multiplication up and down c down is plus 4 then minus from the formula then b up c down so this time b down c up so b down no sign i oh, plus here plus 2 and c up here 9 so b up c down here minus b down c up then for the y part first part and second part is y part divided by the denominator here x is by bc minus bc y by ca minus ca so c here c up plus 9 
a down a is the coefficient of x so 3 minus this time c down plus 4 a up so here is coefficient of x is a so in front of x is plus 8 then here both c1 and c2 are on the right side of the equal sign in such a case we put minus 1 if the c1 and c2 are on both on left side we put plus 1 on the numerator in the third part so by this part here will be by this is x by bc minus bc y by ca minus ca this one plus one or minus one by a b minus a b all this a b minus a b so a is the coefficient of x so a up plus eight b down plus two minus here a b c so minus a down is plus three sorry b up is plus five so this this step very slowly and carefully so you don't make even a single mistake because this step is the most crucial in cross multiplication once we get this correct the rest will go smoothly uh, that also says that also means that if we make some mistakes here in this step of cross multiplying then everything else will go wrong okay so we'll not get the right answer in other words so that implies x by simplification plus into plus brackets in between means multiplication so plus into plus plus five fours are 20 so plus 20 minus into plus no sign in front of nine is plus minus into plus minus multiply the signs always first that's a better habit okay two nines are 18 then here y divided by nine threes are 27 minus into plus is minus so four eights are 32 and then here minus 1 divided by 8 twos are 16 minus into plus minus 3 fives are 15 let us continue to simplify because we can simplify them so x by plus 20 minus 18 is plus 2 y by minus 32 bigger absolute value plus 27 you can write these things on your graph so subtract because one is minus another so plus is subtract so 12 minus 7 is 5 to make 12 here we took 1 from 3 so only 2 is left so 2 minus 2 0 which we need not write bigger absolute value 32 has minus sign so this 5 also will have minus sign so 27 minus 32 is not 5 not plus 5 but minus 5 be very careful with those things and here minus 1 on numerator down here 16 minus 15 is plus 1 plus 16 minus 15 is subtract 6 minus 5 1 bigger plus so here also plus this way plus one i put here numerator is of course minus one and finally once write once more x by two first part second part is y by minus five the third part we can just simply write it as minus one by one means okay or you can just stop it there also and that's fine no harm then to find the x value write these things on the rough as i said we can say now taking the first and third parts because why because we want to find x and this time x is in the first second and third part so first part contains x as you can see x by two third part because third part has no unknown factors unknown variables but it's a constant number minus one by one that way you're going to get equal to that implies x don't move that if you shift this denominator, it will go up and multiply this minus 1 on the numerator. So plus and the minus, minus, then 2 ones are 2. Divided by 1 means we need not write. So x is minus 2 we got. Then to get the y value, solving means finding the value for x and y. That's why we're taking to find the other one, y. Second, because second part, second and third parts because second part contains y as you can see first second and third so second part y by minus five third part because third part as i said is a constant number with no unknown variables so next that gives you y don't move then shift this minus will go up and multiply with this numerator minus one minus the minus plus five ones are five by one is five Therefore, the required 
solution that we got by cross multiplication is the same answer and it should be same answer x equal to minus 2 y equal to plus 5. So we see that by whatever method we do, algebraic method, we must get the same answer for the same pair of linear equations. So x equal to minus 2 y equal to plus 5. So that concludes the test 3.5b part. Okay.